Hello, this is Chef Paul Ashman. I'm going to be your instructor here in HUN 1001 Survey of Nutrition. Welcome to the class. This is fall 2013 and we're going to have a great semester. What I'd like you to do, take a look at this page. This is your landing page for the course. This is what your class should look like. If it doesn't look like this, give me a call or check with the help desk. I'll talk about that a little bit. First thing you're going to do, always do is look for course announcements and you'll see under your what's new tab that there is a new announcement. Welcome to HUN 1001. Class will begin on Monday the 19th. Please look at the syllabus. This will describe the class in detail and if you're um, watching this then you're seeing the YouTube video. Um, a couple of things we need to do. We need to talk about what we're going to do in this class and how to do it few things we need to look at and the first thing I always want you to do is pop up the course syllabus when you open it up it's going to open up a word document and here it is course syllabus survey of nutrition HUN 1001 fall 2013 this is a web class we will not be meeting face to face in this class it's two credit hour class that's me chef Paul Ashman CEPC stands for certified executive pastry chef my office is in ATC 132 which is next to the bakery down in the ATC my extension is 5852 it should not change there's my email I will be setting office and virtual office hours and I'll let you know that um, pretty soon this textbook, Nutrition for Food Service and Culinary Professional, 6th edition. Just to let you know, that's available in the bookstore, or you can look online and see if you can find it on Amazon or one of the uh, used booksellers. If you find the 5th edition, I don't mind that. Even the 4th edition would work for this class. Catalog description, we're going to understand basic principles of um, nutrition. That should be that's actually wrong. And then we're going to um, gain some factual knowledge and take a look at the outcomes, identifying food groups, evaluate diet, describe characteristics, list fire and functions of sources of major vitamins and minerals, a real basic overview of nutrition. If you'll notice, this class will require some research. Our library's got a great selection of culinary books. There is, for this class, you're going to have four tests, one project, and a final. And I'll let you know right now, if you do all the four tests and do them on time and get your project turned in on time, you will not have to take the final, which is pretty sweet. So uh, make sure to do the stuff on time. Makeup exams, I don't do makeup exams in this class. Um, because it's an online class, we have the tests are open for a period of time. If it is something really critical, um, then you need to contact me. Now. American Disability Act, if you have any issues or need any help, we can check with Linda Van Dallen over in DSS. Contact me, Disability Support Services, and I can get you up with them. There is no real attendance for this class, but there are some things you've got to do. You've got to complete the first message board post and send me an email to remain in this class. If not, then I'm going to take it for granted that you haven't done anything, not really want to be in the class, and you will be dropped. After the drop add period, I cannot withdraw you from the class. What that means, if you decide you just can't handle it, then you must withdraw yourself. If not, you will get the grade you earn. If you got five zeros, then guess what you earn. So please don't, don't I don't like giving Fs, so uh, keep up with it. There is one student project for this class. It's a four-day food intake report. You're going to basically keep track of everything that goes in your mouth for a four-day period. That includes everything but water. Water's not included on that. You're going to have to provide... Um, data on this. Oh, and by the way, that's four consecutive days. You're going to have to provide data, which means fat, grams, carbs, proteins. I also do want this semester, I want sodium included. You're going to do all that, and then you're going to total each day. That's very important to give me totals for each day. Along with this, you're going to require required to present a two-page report, basically critiquing your food intake habits, and then identifying any steps you might need. There's a great website called nutritiondata.com. Nutritiondata.com, you can put in almost any food. Let's say you are, you like, uh, I don't know, McDonald's french fries. So we're going to put french, french fries. And we pop up french fries and we can look up and we can actually see all kinds. Here's McDonald's french fries. So we pull up McDonald's french fries and we get a medium serving and it tells us everything. 370 calories and 19 grams of fat, saturated fat, cholesterol, sodium. All this gives us an idea of um, nutritional targets, P 
pyramid ratios, nutrient balance, really an enormous amount of information. All I'm concerned with is pretty much this stuff right here. But it gives you a great opportunity to look, and if you want to get scared, start looking at some of the foods that you guys eat on a regular basis, and um, you might not eat them again. We're gonna, let's go back to the class. So that's required. Let me get back to this. The um, you got until November, almost Thanksgiving. So don't worry about it right now, but we'll talk about it soon. This is our tentative schedule for the first week. By next um, Sunday night, you're required to do a message board post. Okay, you're going to do a message board post introducing yourself, and you're also going to um, after you watch this, you're going to send me an email saying you watched that. Four tests. Each of these tests will open up for approximately 48 hours. During that period of time, you must take the test. You'll have a two-hour window to take the test during that period of time. It's very important that you try to take the test early in the window. That way, if you have a problem and the test needs to be reset, I can possibly do it. I will not reset the test if you get just a bad grade. You need to... Um, you know, I'll, I'll be able to look and see that you only got one answer submitted before you, you know, your computer went out or something like that. Don't use your browser's back button or forward button during the test because it will submit your test. You'll notice we've got the first test is coming up on the 15th. I will also have open practice tests that you can practice for each one of these. Your project is due on November 17th and the final, if you need to take it, will be during finals week. Pretty simple. Let's go back to the class. So we got a couple things. Your syllabus you're going to look at. Discussion board. Introdu introduction and food habits. I've got to change a few things on here. The dates have to be changed. Please post a short introduction for yourself along with a little information on your favorite foods and eating habits. It's due by midnight on Sunday the 25th, and you must post a response to at least one of your classmates. Okay, And I'm going to make that at the same time also. 50 words I want on your posts. Okay, it's really simple. It's only a, a few sentences. But make them substantial. Don't just say, oh yeah, I like that. Um, I want you to tell me a little bit about yourself. It's pretty easy. Just click on New Post, put in your last name, dot, first name, and then just write whatever you want to write. And um, you know, tell me, you know, why are you here? Tell me a little bit about yourself. And then, what's your favorite food and eating habits? I'll let you all know that I dearly love meatloaf and macaroni and cheese. I know that sounds kind of a little strange, but those are just some of my favorite foods. And that's what I want to hear about you. I want to hear what do you like. And uh, so we're going to go and we'll get that done. Once you get that done, let's go back to your course. I want you to then email me after you've watched this video. And all you got to do for that is go into the message, click on to. If you look under groups, you'll be able to find me, all course faculty. To OK, and then you can just type in subject, put in your name for the subject, please, and then just say, hey, chef, I watched the video, and that's it. But I need something that tells me that you've actually done this, and that also gives me a little bit of academic content, which shows that you're actually in the course. If I don't hear anything from you or see anything from you, I'm going to, um, during drop out, I'm going to drop you from the class. So you have to do something, okay? and send me, sending me an email makes up academic content. It is uh, not an overly difficult class. If you look under the lesson section, I have put an enormous amount of stuff here. I've got a great nutrition project example. This is a really nice one. What's really nice is that there are programs out there that will do all this for you, that will make up and, and put all this stuff together. Um, my Fitness Pal. Actually, it's an app that's available for your phone. You can just do it on your phone. And then this will print up. Um, but this is a really excellent example. And it wasn't very difficult. Um, the student told me that literally she had it on her phone and just every time she ate something she just typed it in. Or even, I believe,